Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronis with Anatrio and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how I color grade this very image and most of you guys loved it so this story is for you guys that would love to learn how to color grade your images in camera so this is a raw file and this is the before of the image and this is the after before after before after so I'll show you guys how we can get to this look of this very image and the very first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to reset everything to the default so that we can understand each and everything I did when I was trying to do the color grading of this very image. So the very first thing I did, you can see first of all this is a raw file and I took it using a one light setup that is a Godox AD600 BM in 120cm octa box and that was for my lighting and the light I used is a Godox AD600 BM and it is a raw file, Canon 6D camera ISO 160 using my 85mm lens at 8.4 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 800th of a second and I took it at around 5pm so the very first thing I did usually for Canon cameras they usually come with some kind of magenta so these magentas have to be reduced so you have to understand and know the opposite of magenta is green so in order to eliminate magenta from an image you have to move a slide that was the green side of it so what I'm going to do I'm just going to move this slider the tint option towards the green side so I'm just going to move until that point when I'm losing out on the magentas and I think right here it is fine so this is the before so far and after you have just gotten rid of the magentas and we have those kind of warm skin tones in this very image then the next thing I did was simply coming to the highlights because I wanted to regain most of the information in the highlight area of this image so what I did I basically came to the highlights and I knocked them all the way down because I wanted to regain back the information uh, in the pants of the model because the light that hit here made me lose information on this particular area so you have to always make sure that you shoot in RAW because for a JPEG file once you overexpose unless your camera has that high dynamic range you're not going to be able to get back the information so this is where we are right now then the next thing I usually do is coming to my white stool and simply knocking them down a little bit around negative 8 then since the image turns out to look underexposed I prefer to come to the exposure and I come to and just push it up just like that so that it gets a very nice and beautiful exposure so I'm just going to knock it up a little bit more I think right there we are good to go then the next thing I want to do is pushing up my shadows so I'm just going to push up the shadows to regain the information in the shadow area of this image so I'm just going to knock it up I think uh, that looks fine then the other thing I'm going to do is pulling back my blacks to get back most of the information that I may have over pushed up using when I pulled up the shadows of this image then I prefer to also add a little bit of contrast in most of my images so you can see where we are right now so this is the before and after so far and the image is turning out to look really nice and it is popping for this case then the next thing I did for this image was simply coming down to the vibrance and since I wanted the image to pop even a little bit more I came and I pulled up the vibrance I uh, turn 9 and that added that kind of pop to the image then after all this the next thing I did was coming to the HSL panel to do the real color grading process for this very image I just came all the way down to the HSL panel so basically HSL panel is hue saturation and luminance so what you have noticed is what I did for this image since I wanted to get back the information in the green area of this image I came to the greens since they are looking a little bit dark and what I did I came to the luminance of the greens and I simply brightened up so luminance is more of 
lightness or darkness of a particular color. So I came to the greens and I simply pushed them all the way up to get back the information. You can see where we started and where we are. Then the next thing I did was coming to the saturation panel. So saturation is more of the intensity of a given color. So what I did basically, since I did not want these yellows, especially in the highlight area around the branches in the background, what I did, I just had to eliminate the yellows in the image so that the model can really stand out even more. And that is all I did for a saturation of this image. Then the magic happened in the hue panel of this image. So what I did under the hues, I simply came right to the blue since I wanted to change uh, the color of the model's pants and I simply moved the hues of the blues towards the aqua side. So I just pushed it down just like that around. I think right there, I think that's the right color that we had. Then I also wanted the greens to really pop a little bit more. So I had to move the greens yeah, I had to move the greens towards the blue side. So I had to move it like that. So I moved the hues towards the blue side to around 70. And you can see where we started and where we are right now. And the image really looks nice and beautiful. So lastly, what I did for this particular image in the camera filter, I simply came and did some little bit of eye whitening. So basically, I prefer to do eye whitening for all my images. And this adds a different kind of feel or it adds some kind of different vibe to the image. So what I do, I come to the adjustment brush option and I simply pull down the temperature towards the blue side to eliminate the yellows in the white area of the eye. Like I said at the start of the tutorial, and since we have some greens in the white area of the eye, the opposite of green is magenta. So in order to eliminate the greens, I have to simply move this towards the magenta side. That is to around 63. Then since I want the eyes to pop a little bit more, I push up the highlights to around 4 and do the same for the whites. And in order to eliminate other colors in the white area of the eye, I simply turn down the saturation to around 69 and I start painting over the white area. And this is going to start whitening the eyes and give the image a whole different vibe or feel added to it. So basically that is or oh, that is my go-to step to eye whitening and you're going to notice that this basically adds a whole different vibe to the image. So you always have to make sure that you whiten the eyes for all your images. If at all you want them to stand out at the end of uh, your color grading process. So after doing all this, what I did next was taking the image into Photoshop and I did uh, the skin retouching and one final step for color grading it. So I simply came and hit open to open the image into Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I basically did only one thing. So I'm sorry about my messed up desktop. So this is me and I prefer to do it this way. So this is the image that we have straight from the camera roll filter. So what I did in Photoshop was basically coming to selective color and just pumping up the blacks a little bit to around three. Then the next thing I wanted to do is to make or add some kind of little bit pop to the image. So what I did, I came to the brightness and contrast and I activated use legacy. So you check this. And when you pump up the contrast, you can see that this makes the image pop a little bit more, but that is too much. I'm just going to add around three, and this really adds a whole different vibe or feel to the image. So basically, this is how I color graded this image in the camera roll filter and lastly in Photoshop. And as usual, I did the skin retouching. So this is all for today's story. And if I told you have loved this story, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, and I'll see you in yet another try. Don't forget to keep color grading and keep creating.